A Hilbert curve is a continuous fractal space filling curve first described by the German mathematician David Hilbert in 1891, as a variant of the space filling Pino curves discovered by Giuseppe Pino in 1890. Because it is space filling, its Hausdorff dimension is is the th approximation to the limiting curve, the Euclidean length of this, i.e., it grows exponentially with, while at the same time always being bounded by a square with a finite area. Images Hilbert curve First order Hilbert curves First and second orders Hilbert curves First to third orders String art Hilbert curve Construction color coded A Hilbert curve in three dimensions a 3D Hilbert curve with color showing progression. This GIF file displays an animation of circles traveling along the path of a Hilbert space filling curve. Applications and mapping algorithms Both the true Hilbert curve and its discrete approximations are useful because they give a mapping between 1D and 2D space that fairly well preserves locality. If for the coordinates of a point within the unit square, and d is the distance along the curve when it reaches that point, then points that have nearby d values will also have nearby values. The converse can't always be true. There will sometimes be points where the coordinates are close but their d values are far apart. Because of this locality property, the Hilbert curve is widely used in computer science. For example, the range of IP addresses used by computers can be mapped into a picture using the Hilbert curve. Code to generate the image would map from 2D to 1D to find the color of each pixel. And the Hilbert curve is sometimes used because it keeps nearby IP addresses close to each other in the picture. A grayscale photograph can be converted to a dithered black and white image using thresholding, with the leftover amount from each pixel added to the next pixel along the Hilbert curve. Code to do this would map from 1D to 2D. And the Hilbert curve is sometimes used because it does not create the distracting patterns that would be visible to the eye if the order were simply left to right across each row of pixels. Hilbert curves in higher dimensions are an instance of a generalization of gray codes, and are sometimes used for similar purposes, for similar reasons. For multidimensional databases, Hilbert order has been proposed to be used instead of Z-order because it has better locality-preserving behavior. For example, Hilbert curves have been used to compress and accelerate artery indexes. They have also been used to help compress data warehouses. Given the variety of applications, it is useful to have algorithms to map in both directions. In many languages, these are better if implemented with iteration rather than recursion. The following C code performs the mappings in both directions, using iteration and bit operations rather than recursion. It assumes a square divided into n by n cells, for n a power of 2, with integer coordinates, within the lower left corner in the upper right corner, and a distance d that starts at zero in the lower left corner and goes to in the lower right corner. Convert to d int x y 2 d int r x y s d equals zero, four r x equals greater than zero, y equals greater than zero, d plus equals s asterisk s asterisk carrot y rot return d convert d to void d to x y int r x y s t equals d asterisk x equals asterisk y equals zero, four r x equals one and y equals 1 and rot asterisk x plus equals s asterisk r x asterisk y plus equals s asterisk y t equals 4 rotate flip the quadrant appropriately void rot if if asterisk x equals n1 asterisk x asterisk y equals n1 asterisk y swap x and y and t equals asterisk x asterisk x equals asterisk y asterisk y equals t these use the seek conventions. The in symbol is a bitwise and the caret symbol is a bitwise XOR. The plus equals operator adds on to a variable and the equals operator divides a variable. 
The handling of Booleans in C means that in x, y, 2d, the variable rx is set to 0 or 1 to match bit s of x, and similarly for y. The x, y, 2d function works top-down, starting with the most significant bits of x and y, and building up the most significant bits of d first. The d2xy function works in the opposite order, starting with the least significant bits of d, and building up x and y starting with the least significant bits. Both functions use the rotation function to rotate and flip the coordinate system appropriately. The two mapping algorithms work in similar ways. The entire square is viewed as composed of four regions, arranged two by two. Each region is composed of four smaller regions, and so on, for a number of levels. At level S, each region is S by S cells. There is a single for loop that iterates through levels. On each iteration, an amount is added to D or to X and Y, determined by which of the four regions it is in at the current level. The current region out of the four is, where our X and Y are each 0 or 1. So it consumes two input bits, and generates two output bits. It also calls the rotation function, so that will be appropriate for the next level on the next iteration. For x, y, 2d, it starts at the top level of the entire square, and works its way down to the lowest level of individual cells. For d, 2x, y, it starts at the bottom with cells, and works up to include the entire square. It is possible to implement Hilbert curves efficiently even when the data space does not form a square. Moreover, there are several possible generalizations of Hilbert curves to higher dimensions. Representation as linden mayer system. The Hilbert curve can be expressed by a rewrite system. Alphabet. A. B. Constants. F plus minus axiom, a production rules, a minus B F plus A F A plus F B minus B plus A F minus B F B minus F A plus here, F means draw forward, minus means turn left 90 degrees, plus means turn right 90 degrees, and A and B are ignored during drawing. Other implementations. Arthur Butts provided an algorithm for calculating the Hilbert curve in multidimensions. Graphics Gems 2 discusses Hilbert curve coherency, and provides implementation.